I would like to welcome everyone um, to the midweek Bible study this evening. Um, as you can tell, I am not Rick Taylor. Uh, I'm the associate pastor here at Sulphur Springs, Josh Johnson, and I will be bringing the Wednesday um, Bible study this week. Um, I've been thinking, been praying, and I've had the word burdens on me for, um, I've had burdens as a burden um, on me. And um, when I sat down to study for this week, that just kept, I kept going back to that. And um, it took me to Exodus 17. And if you know anything about Exodus, it's about the exit. Moses is taking the children of Israel, and it really wasn't but a few days' journey to the Promised Land, but uh, wound up taking them about 40 years. So he had a lot of things to deal with while they were traveling to the Promised Land. Um, he had a ton of problems. He had a uh, lack of water. They had a lack of food. Um, he had complaining and grumbling from the people that he was leading. Um, warring tribes to go to battle against. Um, he had to settle disputes. Um, traveling in hostile conditions. Um, rebellion. Um, lack of faith of the people that he was leading. That God wouldn't provide for him. And also, Moses started all this out by feeling inadequate before they even started the journey. So it was really tough on him as they were uh, traveling through the wilderness. And that was a burden that, um, that was on him. But we're, we're drawn here in Exodus 17, and we start out at the, at the first of um, the chapter, and he's getting water from a rock as God has provided, and the... the the Israelites don't believe, but then he provides it, and, and they believe. And then around verse 12, middle to the end of the chapter, um, we are led into a story about a battle that Joshua is going to go down and fight. Um, Moses, his brother Aaron, her, and Joshua are there, and Moses tells Joshua to go down and fight the battle, and he will him and her and Aaron will stay up, and they will they will be there for him. And um, Joshua, as he has in Scripture previous to this and after this, he is going to be obedient to what God is calling him to do, and what the leaders that are interpreting God's word what they are telling him to do. He is obedient in that call, so he goes down, and he goes to battle. But instead of me trying to explain it, let's go into the scripture and let's read it, and then we'll take some things from it. And verse 17 of uh, uh, chapter 17, verse 12 of Exodus, it reads, But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put under him, and he sat on it while Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, and Joshua overwhelmed Amalek, and his people with the sword. So Joshua was victorious in this battle. Whenever Moses raised his hands, Joshua and the children of Israel were um, winning the battle. But then he would get tired and his hands would go down. And they would be defeated during those periods. Um, but in verse 12, Moses gets tired. And all of us have gotten tired before. We've grown weary. We just It's just so much on us. It's, the burdens are just too much to bear. Like Moses in these verses. You see, things just don't feel like they're going to go right. Moses had some friends, actually family members, um, that come in and they help him out. Um, he grows weary and tired, but Aaron and her are there to help hold him up, to help uplift him, literally uplift him, lift his arms up, but probably also there to give him encouraging words and to help him out um, in that battle and that journey that's going on um, during that day. They put a stone under him, and then they hold him steady until the end of the day and to the end of the battle. Um, 
the Malachites were fierce. They were fierce people. Um, and they battled all day and, you know, into the evening. But they were victorious. The children of Israel were victorious. They were coming, the Malachites were coming from all angles, all different directions in this battle. Just like the enemy is coming at us today. Just like the enemy is coming at us from different angles, coming in through our troubles in finances, maybe troubles through our family, maybe troubles through a job, maybe troubles through this uh, virus disease that's going running rampant today. The, the enemy is attacking us at all angles. But you see, just like Moses and just like Joshua in these verses are facing troubles, we have troubles and we have these battles. But you see, also just like these guys in these verses, we have two places to turn. We can turn to each other and we can turn to the Lord. You see, you have people in this body of believers here at Sulphur Springs, and if you're watching this video and you attend another church, you have people at your church that want to come alongside you and are willing to come and to help you and to uplift you physically, spiritually, however they are able to. They want to come alongside you just like Aaron and just like her and be able to, to help you along in this journey. They want to do that heavy lifting. They want to help you out. I'm thankful for a church family like I have here. Um, that it, The drop of a hat, any call, anything that's burdening me, anything that's going on, they are here to help. I pray that you have such a church family. I pray that you're able to turn to Aaron's and I pray that you're able to turn to hers and they are able to uplift you and to help you walk through these difficult times. Um, we have, like I said, a, a wonderful church family here um, at Sulphur Springs, but also in turning to a wonderful church family, most of all you need to turn to the Lord, just like these guys. Moses was obedient to the Lord when he held up his hands God was on their side, and when he grew weary, um, God would come in and, and help them there too. God is on our side. We can turn to him at any point in time. Anytime things are burdened, anytime that we're tired, we feel like we just can't go on. When it seems like things just aren't going to go right, like now, it seems like at the turn, things are going wrong right and left. God is still with us. God is still good. In the, in the valleys and on the mountaintops. God is still with us and God is still good. Um, Jesus even, just like Aaron and just like her, are there to help him physically. And then God is there to help them spiritually as they're in this battle. Jesus, in the New Testament, in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, invites us to come in, come to him, all that are weary and burdened, and he will give us rest. He is inviting you in those words to come in and take comfort in Him. So whatever battle, whatever burden you're facing today, just like Moses in that Old Testament story, you have people that want to come alongside you physically in your church body, um, maybe family members. People want to come in and want to help you physically, but then also you have a God that is waiting on you to come in, to invite you in, to invite Him in. So he can come in and he can work in your life. He wants to work in your life. He wants to come in and he wants to do a great work. I pray that you would allow him to come in and do a great work. And thank you for allowing me to share.